In the previous part, Zhu King started fighting with Stockton, and he activated Dark Shadow Assault skill. Now, Zhu King is standing in the middle of the castle, and fully prepared for the attack. Suddenly several rays of light emerges from the spherical pattern on the ground. A mighty monster is standing near him. It is a fierce and militant creature with red eyes and large fiery horns. The challenge mission has been started, which is called Kill the Boss Fallen Apostle. The monster with its full rage rushes towards Zhu King. It shouts out loud and thrashes its mighty axe at him. He escapes cleverly by using his knife, and their weapons clash. Zhu King uses his full potential to stop the attack. The monster is pissed off. Its rage can be seen from its fiery eyes, shrill roar, and furrowed brows. It musters up his courage for a second attack and hits upon his axe at him again. Zhu King escapes, jumping over the monster and malleates it at its back. It loses its power and falls. Zhu King is amazed that a player of level 25 can be beaten easily. In the meantime, it is revived again and stands up more aggressively. He again thrashes it hard, and the scar on its bulky body starts reviving again. He is amazed to see this. However, he activates his magical powers and blows a hard punch at it. He gets injured badly, and his blood starts dripping from the axe of the monster. Then a point clicks in his mind, and he realizes it is a dungeon monster. This place looks like a room, and a dungeon cannot be a small room. Furthermore, this monster is not just physical but a shadow. That's why, it is revived again and again. He needs to find its real body, and after a little search, he finally finds it. Its real body looks more horrific than its shadow, and it is a scully body with black demonic eyes and large stature. He jumps a high flip in the sky and thrashes the real body with his full potential. It gets killed in the first move, and the mission has been completed. The rewards include the removal of restrictions, and he can summon monsters at any time and place. However, he can summon only one group of any type at once. Also, the reduction of the cooling body has been activated but only for 10 seconds. In the next scene, he notices Stockton. His one arm can induce several deadly bats to kill the enemy. He challenges him to fight, and Zhu King accepts it. Stockton is so overconfident and asks him to prepare for death. Meanwhile, Zhu King summons a group of creepy monsters to kill him. He is still confident that he can kill them, although he is freaked out to see them. Stockton challenges him to fight alone, but he rejects his proposal and summons another group. This group is more ferocious, full of baldy monsters with scary bodies. Stockton cuts their heads with his large sword, but they are never ending. He calls them trash. At this, Ju King summons Bone Demon Dragon Monster. Stockton is fearful and tries to escape, but in the meantime, Ju King separates his head from his body. He realizes that even after killing him, no notification has popped out. This is because he is still alive, and this is just his shadow. His real body is somewhere else, and this is his spiritual world. Stockton is trying to rob his body and wishes him to come out and die, so that he can own this. He pierces Zhu King's body, and blood starts dripping from his hand. Then Zhu King realizes that he has taken him for granted he activates his mysterious avatar. He becomes more robust and more substantial in looks and power. When it is revealed that Zhu King is Otta's ally, Stockton instantly bows down to his knees and wishes to become his dog. But he doesn't even want him as his dog. Stockton has been killed eventually, and now his level is upgraded. He has received an incentive of 50,000 experience. He is furious at the silly wish of Stockton, who wants to own his body. His level has increased to level 18. However, Zhu King is feeling a stinging pain in his body, and he thinks Stockton is still not dead. But a bloodline is evolving in his body, because he has just killed a player from the vampire's bloodline. His body starts igniting, and he feels great changes in his body. He has activated several skills of this bloodline. These include Dark Assault, Blood Burst Technique, Vampire Mark and Blood Frenzy. His skills have been upgraded, especially the Vampire Enhancement, which is now at level 5. This skill influences his self-perception, which means he can smell the blood flow from a specific range. He is now at a higher level of the Vampire Bloodline. Zhu King is so pleased that he can also control corpses now. Stockton's superficial sword has also the teleportation power. He senses some people coming towards him, and he instantly escapes. They are the ones from the Vampire Guild and find several corpses with their cut limbs lying out there. They are surprised to see the strength of the man who dared to kill the member of the Wolf Soul tribe. Stockton was also a member of this tribe. This is a piece of very disturbing news for them. They inform the leader of the Wolf Soul tribe named Beast Godmat. He is a playboy and is least bothered about his cousin's death. However, he is curious about who dared to touch any member of his tribe and orders to find him at any cost. 
He also breaks this news to a manager. The manager claims that his men will see the matter. Furthermore, they talk about a mysterious weapon, which has been researched for thousands of years. However, they still need to learn how to use it. General confirms if the leader wants to sell this weapon. Matt is sure that he should sell it, because if it is unusable, it owes no worth. Ju King is standing near the Miyamoto family's mansion, and Uncle Liu welcomes him. He has completed the awakening mission, which they assigned to him. Nana Miyamoto is waiting for him inside. On the way, Uncle Liu introduces himself as a level 50 player and a professional deacon. He is eager to save his miss from every danger at any cost. He wonders if they knew his real identity, they would instantly kill him because Ada's ally killed their previous head, and he is the one who did it. Anyhow, he meets his sister Zio and greets her warmly. He claims he would kill anybody who dared to bully his sister. Uncle Liu likes his protective aura. He enters Miyamoto's room, and they talk about the mission. She is blushing because she is feeling it like a date. However, Ju King thinks her face is red, because they know he is Ada's ally. They talk about Stockton's death, and she is scared that Matt will find him at any cost. Although Zhu King is overconfident that he has left no traces behind, so he cannot find him. She worries that he has provoked many dangerous people with his previous fights. She mentions the strength of the Wolf Soul Tribe. A level 25 Berserk warrior has been teasing a girl in a dark room where Zhu King has arrived. He dares to stop him, but he gets so furious and shouts at him to go out. He threatens him that he will mincemeat his body and throw it at the pigs. But Zhu King doesn't go outside and starts the fight. He kills the player in one strike. His level upgraded and he has gained 3000 experience. He wants to achieve level 20 and finds the other players. He persistently kills several players and gains more experience. So, he reaches level 20. He can change his profession now. But his dungeon has been raided successfully and locked for the next 7 days. Zhu King is furious about who raided his dungeon and got it locked. Scene changes to a burial area dungeon, where a player sells his dungeon easily. He is so strong that he causes huge destruction in the area, but still, he brings some men with him. When they asked about their need to come here, he exclaimed that he wanted some eyewitnesses. He wants to make people see his powers and what he can do. He is a level 20 player named Long Wan Yu and a professional knight. He causes massive destruction in the whole city and devours the city into flames. The control center is furious about this. They find out that it is a changed dungeon profession causing this commotion. However, Ju King and Long Wen get a notification that their dungeon is now open. Their profession has been changed to Profession Necromancer Knight. The same notification is sent to all the warriors and knights who have yet to be through the profession change. Ju King is not happy with his changed profession. He had heard about it in some old classic books and wanted to change it soon. He is moving up to the building and notices an associated sealed entrance. The association is a community which claims to protect all the players. A group of people are striking outside and want to enter the place. They all have the authority to change their profession, but a 35-level paladin player stops them. One of the players from the group moves ahead and initiates the fight, but he immediately kills the player, and everyone holds their breath to see this. No one dares to move ahead but Chu King. In the meantime, a level 24 warrior named Shan Tiangsheng comes ahead to challenge. He also shouts for Zhu King to step aside. He belongs to the Iga Guild's member, one of the strong guilds. However, Zhu King punches him hard on the face, and he pushes toward the wall. He gets poorly injured with just one blow. His uncle Chen comes forward to threaten Zhu King for hitting a member of his guild. But Uncle Liu interrupts and challenges him to touch the member of Miyamoto's family. He gets scared and repeats Uncle Liu's history. Once he killed 100 people all alone, Miyamoto has sent Uncle Liu to bring Zhu King home, because he has been out for a long. The paladin player stated earlier that Zhu King still wants to enter the same way. He even forbids him not to involve in a fight with a level 35 player. However, Zhu King is so confident that he can defeat him. He allows him to punch first, so he gathers all his powers and strikes him on the face. Although, Zhu King rescues his attack amazingly, and now it is his turn. He collects all his magical powers in the punch and blows him hard. The player activates the Paladin Barrier technique to escape the attack. However, Ju King still makes him suffer his first attack, and he shouts out loud to surrender. Now, he allows him to enter the association. When entering, he encounters several low-level players who have come here to change their profession. Several high-level players are also there who will lead them. Level 50 Saint Knight player stares at Ju King and wonders how a level 20 player defeated a level 35 player. He is amazed to see that after Nana Miyamoto in the Miyamoto family, he only has the same potential as him. Zhu King meets a familiar player named Lai Jiayu of the Death Spirit Guild. 
he can read other players' levels and powers. Also, he is one of the survivors of the awakening mission of Oda's ally. Miyamoto's previous head sacrifices his life and distracts Oda's ally from him, so that they can get a chance. Zhu King is furious, because he doesn't remember anything after his death. However, he is sure that nothing like that happened. A girl named Njire came with Lai Zhai, who witnessed the whole event. However, Lai Zhai invites him to his place to learn from each other, but Zhu King wants to kill him anyway. Uncle Liu reads his facial expressions and forbids him to muggle up with a person with equal powers. A level 60 player announces the opening of the dungeon change profession. He also states that the dungeon only enables the profession change for necromancer knights. During the task, the dungeon will not restrict any challenge capacity, and there's no level restriction. All players get disheartened and afraid that walking alone could be dangerous without restrictions. So, they suggest entering teams to raid the dungeon. Dungeon's difficulty level is extremely high this time, because Dungeon will give only one chance to change profession. Also, they reveal that the rumors are spread that Dungeon is Oda's allies. It only appeared once, that didn't restrict any challenge capacity before. It is a misfortune demon king, who is extremely dangerous. Zhu King enters all alone to raid the dungeon, and seems very arrogant to all players. On entering, he gets a notification that he can only leave after defeating the boss. Several players are split up there, although he wants to save and gyre to get a clue what had happened earlier. In the meantime, he encounters a lava worm at level 30. It attacks him, but he cuts it in half with sword. He gets 50 conqueror points. Moving ahead, he is getting bored, because the dungeon seems to be so easy. Suddenly, the self-explosions start and get burns and bruises all over his body. However, he can heal them with his self-recovering power. He passes the fire bugs there, and they attack them from all sides. But it is easy for him to get rid of them. He uses Stockton's sword and cuts all of them into two halves. Now, he is finding them super easy. Then he encounters other players surviving a monster of fire and fear. It is a gigantic robotic monster that attacks other players. One of the mighty players uses the Saint Light Protection Technique and produces heavy arrays of light. These light rays surround the monster, entangling it and catching its breath. The player orders them to kill before it catches its breath again. Then he uses the Death Impact Blast Technique and kills several other players from his team. A girl teammate starts shouting at him for this unethical command. He uses his god card crafted by his ancestors to probe both techniques. Zhu King likes the card, and when he sees him killing other members, he gets near him. He doesn't allow him to escape and blows a hard punch on his face. His face turns red, and he shouts out loud at Zhu King. He eagerly wants to kill Zhu King. He curses him to death and activates his card technique. He summons a shadow assassin to beat Zhu King, then bring him to torture him. But Zhu King hits the assassin in one blow and makes fun of his skills. The player gets super offended and activates Death Coffin skill. These are sharp blades surrounding Zhu King from all sides. However, he escapes these also. Then the player activates the Darkness Slash technique. A whirlwind moves toward him, but it is of no use, because he destroys it in one move. The player activates dual skills this time. The Death God's Eye and Illusion Shadow Demonic Needle. A purple demon emerges in the sky and the player combines another skill named the Grim Reaper Slash. Zhu King escapes all these very easily. Now, it's his turn. He activates the Vampire Mark and jumps to him. He hits him so hard that he falls away. The player has only two cards left, which he doesn't want to use now but on the boss later. Although he uses the skill of Darkness Descend, which instantly blocks the opponent's senses. He thinks that Zhu King is in his control now, and he initiates torturing him. But this trick is not helpful. Zhu King punches him hard, and blood pours out of his body. The skill of the Vampire Mark by Zhu King helps him escape this technique and empowers his moves. The player is dead. Zhu King snatches his cards and is amazed to see Trump's card, which is very scary. The player didn't use that card on Zhu King, because he wanted to use it on the boss, but he is dead now. The girl thanks him, and he thinks of killing her. Meanwhile, a level 55 player named Uncle Zhang hits up there and stops him from killing the girl. He jumps and attacks Zhu King, because he misunderstands that he will kill the girl. However, the girl stops her uncle by saying he is a helper. They introduce themselves to each other. Zhu King notices that instead of having a level of a warrior, Uncle Zhang didn't use a warrior trick. Uncle Zhang is amazed to see the vision of Zhu King, an astrologer by profession who can change Penal's decisions. The girl offers Zhu King to team up with them, so that he can pass the dungeon easily. However, Zhu King refuses her and prefers to walk alone. Uncle Jang uses his astrology skills to assess whether Zhu King is dangerous to them. He assumes he is a danger and not an ordinary player. So, he wants to kill him, 
On the other hand, Flaming Demon Spirit of level 55 attacks some players. Lai Zhai enters there and competes with the Demon Spirit. He finds it interesting and uses his swordsman skills to kill it. He also encourages them to compliment him for this ironic fight. The players want an escape, but he teases everyone to speak about his heroic fight. He suggests they keep near him to see more of his heroic fights. Finally, Ju King finds him and encounters his powers now. He decides to use him as a passage to kill the boss. Moving on, they find alienating monsters. Lai Zhu hits their heads and kill them. He also uses the skill of Meteor Impact to vanish all of them. He is a big show off. They find another monster, which is in the form of a seal. He breaks the seal, and a human-like monster comes out. He fights him bravely by using his swordsman skills. The seal is the one which should not be broken, and it is perhaps the seal of the Hell's boss. Green venomous light spreads everywhere, but Ju King also helps him to fight the monsters. In the next scene, they find a Death Spirit Warehouse, a unicorn of level 55. This ferocious purple unicorn rushes towards them. Lai Zhai attacks with his sharp sword, but the attack passes without affecting it. It is because, it is moving at a very fast speed that it dodged the attack. On the other hand, another monster with a luminous green body emerges from a seal. Her name is Hell's Master, and she is from the demon race and level 60. She is the dungeon's boss and holds extremely strong powers. She threatens the human race to kill and vanish from all around. She spread an ocean of green light all around. She is so powerful that she can easily eradicate the whole human race. She is fiery at the weird combo of dumbass humans and the boss to fight. She prepares a huge spear with magical powers, and a wave of green light accumulates at her hand. She throws a spear at them, and Zhu King holds it. She gets impressed that he can stop her spear. So, she asks his name, and he reveals that he is the immortal demon King Otta's ally. And Jair bursts into tears when she finds out he is her father. She asks a lot of questions about his body. Zhu King consoles her and puts a fatherly hand on her head. She asks him why he is living in the body of Zhu King, but he tells her to answer all of her questions later, because they have a more important task for now. The Hell's Master is witnessing all this and laughs at the father-daughter reunion. She threatens them to make their reunion memorable in the Hell. They all set on fire to attack her and kill the Master to get their professions changed easily. The Hell's Master is so overconfident that level 60 is a large gap, and they cannot eradicate. She prepares a ferocious attack and throws it at Njair. She gets poorly injured, and they scream out loud. Now, Ju King activates the Vampire Mark to fight against the Hell's Monster. In return, she uses the technique of Dragon Slash. He jumps to attack her, but she escapes. On the other hand, Lai Zhai uses the skill of Saint Heal to activate the healing process of Njair. Zhu King feels the same hopelessness again, which he felt earlier during his family abduction. Hell's monster triggers his painful memory, and he gets annoyed. He activates his vampire burst technique and lessens his HP up to 1. He blows a hard punch at her face, and blood pops out. She gets furious, but Zhu King again jumps and strikes her before she can do anything. He has only 10 seconds to attack as hard as he can. Because there are only 10 seconds, they have been granted to him through the vampire burst technique. He fights so aggressively that the Hell's monster cannot even fight back. He bashes and thrashes her multiple times, and she is numb to see all this. Her overconfidence has been shattered, and she is stuck. Hell's monster is so weak that she cannot fight back and is poorly injured. She is combating a miserable monster. She accumulates her strengths and attacks him back. She shouts out loud, but Ju King escapes her attacks. Hell's monster threatens to separate his organs from his body and let him suffer before dying. She turns into a monstrous beast and spreads his bursting aura all around. Her energy is vital, and she slashes Zhu King in one move. She thinks that he is dead, but she regrets that she should kill him after torturing him first. However, he is still alive and comes forwards after a clever escape. Hell's monster is furious about how he can survive a second state attack. Zhu King reveals that he left a card in her body when he attacked her. This card will activate after some time. Hell's monster turns to burst with anger and her inner beast comes out. She turns out to be abominable and activates the third state. Zhu King activates the black hole trap and attacks her with his full potential. Her blood splashes out here and there, and she dies. His skill is upgraded, and he got 6,000 conqueror points. He has completed his Demon King's challenge and killed a level 60 Hell's monster. It was a great fight and a fantastic achievement. He is now an intermediate ranked player and receives the Hell Monster's certificate as a reward. With this reward, he can influence the fire type skill. Uncle Chen and the girl come nearby and he demands the professional change item. This is not only a certificate but a professional change item. He demands it from Zhu King. 
he will initiate a fight because he cannot give this to them. A level 45 guardian fighter and level 50 boxer hit up there. Uncle Chen threatens that if he doesn't give this to him, he will kill and jire. Er. He laughs at their confidence and pretends he doesn't care for her, so that they cannot trouble her. He challenges the three of them to fight. So, if anyone can kill him, he will surrender and hand over the profession change item. This is how the second part of the manhwa ends. If you want the third part comment below with the word Demon King Part 3 and complete 3000 likes. Also, subscribe to Annie Summary for more manga recap.